Good morning. I'm out at the Herefordshire. How do you play golf when you've only played nine holes in 141 days? Well, I haven't a clue, to be honest. I'm going to start with the driver. I'm not afraid to use it. I'm also not afraid. Put it back in the bag and leave it alone. It's sunny, but it's a cold wind. So here we go, starting with driver, and I shove out to the right, which is not ideal. Just a seven iron here, that's the only shot that was available to me. Now I've just got a new phone and I put shot tracer on it, and I hadn't noticed it defaulted to factory <laughs> settings. So when it does a shot tracer clip, it edits it to a very short clip and because I want to get this out by Friday I didn't redo shot tracer again although I will have fixed it for the next video so how do you play golf when you haven't played golf well I don't know you just go out there and try your best really now I've got a bad back, I mean a really bad back. I've been doing some very heavy lifting in the back garden. I've shifted about four tons of material backwards and forwards. And as this round progresses, it gets worse and worse. Now what's important to me here is I haven't played golf, so I haven't putted. So I can't give myself any gimmies, not even something this short. So you're going to see every shot, no edits, no mulligans, no gimmies. And I think that's the right way to do it. If I'm going to put a dot on a graph and measure my progress, flag is round the corner here on the far right of the green. If I'm going to measure my progress, then the progress has to be real. And so while I'm trying to sort my game out and having some lessons with James and practicing, I'm going to be using the Herefordshire as my home base. This is where I'm going to measure my progress. Of course, as you can see, quite a few of the tees these winter tees are a long way forward. Although because the ground is soft, I'm only hitting the ball more or less what I would do in the summer, especially with this back problem. I'll tell you what's nice, and that's walking onto a green and finding only one pitch mark, and that's my own. So my hat's off to the members here for looking after their course. Although the greens are wet and soft and a little bumpy because they haven't been able to get on and roll them and cut them short as yet because of all the rain, they are in excellent condition. <laughs> and I didn't expect to be making a birdie today. Just a seven iron up the hill today instead of the hybrid. And that's how far forward we are. So score's got to be taken with a little pinch of salt because there's no guarantee I would have hit the green with a, the hybrid. I'm surprised I hit the green with the 7-iron to be honest. I am in so much pain and so heavily restricted and I've still got another 4 tonnes to go, another 2 tonnes of material going out <laughs> and perhaps another 2 or 3 tonnes of gravel coming in. This has all got to be moved by hand. Oh. Well, that's a mistake. mistake. Should have just cozied that one up to the hole. And there's so much break on these greens that even short putts like this can be outside the hole. So you have to take great care. And I'm not used to reading a green. That's the other thing. There's so many things that I haven't done in so long. Yeah. 
there's no guarantee that I can actually do the basics. Five iron here for this shot in with so much wind about, but I caught it a bit thin and I've hit it only about 120 yards, that five iron. And there's so much going on in my head, you know, I'm having to remember James's pitching lesson. I have to remember how to putt, how to chip, as well as the body letting me down. Well, that putt was there if I'd hit it hard enough. But of course, I haven't been out. I don't know the pace of these winter greens. A really good drive. I'm forcing myself to try and follow through properly, even though it's quite a painful experience. And I think after nine, if nine had finished by the clubhouse, I might not have played the back nine. A chuff, bound to happen. You haven't practiced, you haven't played. These things are going to happen. Of course, I've got no expectations. I have no idea what I'm going to score. I didn't think I'd get a birdie. I didn't think I'd get any pars. I thought if I could get round with 18 bogeys, I'll have done very well. First time into a stiff wind, and that's gone. That was a horrible swing, so three off the tee. This isn't much better, but at least I can find it. Six iron over the corner, let it turn right a bit, which leaves just a simple sand wedge in. So I'm on in five. Let's see if I can get away with a seven. Even though the greens are slow, there's still the break on them. And I don't really know these greens very well. And as I say, I'm out of the habit of reading a green. You know, the last time I was playing regularly, I had a caddy. I had 13 or 14 rounds with somebody telling me what to do. So I suppose I haven't read a green myself since the beginning of November. Five wood up here. It's a short par four anyway. That's horrid. But it's okay. I practiced some of these before I came out. So this should be a simple par. But that's clumsy. Came out a lot lower than I thought, so it's ran out. And that putt just didn't even touch the hole. It was just awful from start to finish. Off to 11 and down the hill. Again, I'm forcing my body to turn through it properly to give me a chance. And that is a stonking drive. Followed by a fat nine iron. Fat seems to be a common denominator I think I'm losing height. You know, sometimes when you don't play for a while, you forget all your bad habits. And sometimes when you haven't played for a while, all your bad habits come back to haunt you. But then I can't make a proper golf swing at the moment, so I've got that excuse anyway. A drawn hybrid into the breeze leaves me a nine iron up the hill. And I didn't even come close to hitting that properly, but at least I missed on the left. This is an easy chip. I had plenty of room. What I didn't have is any feel or any touch. 
because I haven't done it. Now, if you've been forced to have a break because of the weather, the same way I have, then you're probably going to be in the same boat. No feel, no touch. Can't get the distance correct around the greens. So it's going to be a matter of practice. Getting used to the pace, getting used to the bounce and how far it runs out. Didn't even come close to striking that ball. But at least the bunkers here are really nice. My position is not really nice, but the bunkers are nice. Hit the face and I'm grateful that came out rather than finished back up at my feet. Chipping with a pitching wedge. This is probably more in my wheelhouse than the sand wedge shots I've been trying to hit. And sure enough, three or four inches. Can't even be bothered to get the putter. We've still got the two par fives to come. So we've got a chance of making some pars. Good drive again. I force myself to make a follow through. A good hybrid. But it's put me in no man's land. It's put me halfway down the slope, which is not where you want to be. Now, people do say to me, you need to go out and play in the wind. There's a very good reason I don't play in the wind. And that's it. Now the lens was covered in mud, it wouldn't move in and out correctly, it still doesn't. I don't know now whether I've got a broken camera or not. One thing I do know is I don't have £750 lying around gathering dust to replace it. I honestly thought right now that YouTube was over, because if this camera breaks I can't afford to replace it. Now, some people make a lot of money on YouTube. I don't. It would take me three years of income to replace this camera. So I'm not exactly in a good mood right now. I'm still not in a good mood about the camera. But it certainly explains away the reason why I don't record in the wind and I don't record in the rain. I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't have thousands of pounds coming in every month. I'm lucky if I get 23 pounds a month. Well, the back's had it now. It's not going anywhere. Hybrid for position was about the only club I felt I could hit. Five wood up here. 158 yards, which is a six iron, two clubs up the wind makes it, uh, up the hill makes it a four. Club into the wind, at least. Club for me back, and that's how I came at five wood. And it was still short. Really, right now, all I want to do is get off the golf course. Never known pain like it, to be honest. Well, that's what happens when you're an old man and you're shifting tons of material by hand to sort your garden out. Yeah, you can't get down there, Simon. You can't. So while this round closes out, got a temporary green on 17. I got a lesson on Saturday. I can tell you the time of me recording my voice, my back is a fair bit better. The pressure's come off the nerve. So I should be able to play a little better in a week's time. But the only way I can measure my success is by playing the same golf course. What I need is the weather to stay improved. I want the golf course to dry out, get to play it full length, and have a bit of run on the ball, 
when I hit a fairway. But looking at the forecast, that isn't going to happen anytime soon. I don't know when I'm going to be able to play to my handicap of six. It may not be until August. It's going to take a very long time. Cheerio.